Welcome back! This video is about the catalog of the Advanced Framework Aquas extension. Just a reminder, the Aquas extension is a separately purchasable add-on to the Advanced Framework Core version 4.1 or higher and depends on the Advanced Framework Core to work properly. The catalog feature of the Aquas extension allows you to organize all actors of your experience into categories and subcategories and even provide a handy, provides a handy spawner in case you want to, the player to spawn them at Vish. As many features of the Aquas extension, the catalog is implemented by the cooperation of several elements. Let me shortly explain how. At the center of the catalog feature is the catalog component, which can be either placed on the pawn or on the actor displaying the catalog, depending on your choice of user interface. The catalog component includes, among others, a list of article data assets, one for each entry it should show. I already covered that article data asset in a different video, so here I will cover only those aspects which are close, in close connection to the catalog. Lastly, the Aquas extension provides you with the choice of three UI elements to display the catalog and access its functionalities. The catalog board, like the one over there, the catalog palette, which is an integral part of the BI user interfaces of the advanced framework, and the catalog HUD widget, which are for desktop and mobile experiences, of course. The setup of the catalog component does not change no matter which UI is supposed to show it. So let me explain it on this desktop one here. First, we add the catalog component. Now we need to create our articles list here in the component settings under articles. We create an array of top categories first. Let's say we want furniture and decoration. Under each topic category, we can also enter multiple subcategories and with each comes an array of article PDA instances which belongs to that category. Give me a short moment to set everything up. Let me show you on one example what you need to observe on article data assets to make the best use of them in the catalog. First of all, to enable the spawner of the catalog to spawn the actor, you need to go down here to the logic variables of the article PDA instance and check this boolean and enter the class of the actor here. If you forget either of it, the article won't be spawned. Next. If you use the visuals component to close the actor in different material sets, you can enable the player to access these in the catalog already by filling the material, ar material array here. Each entry here describes how one material set of the actor is displayed in the material switcher of the catalog. Make sure you set the color to white if you add a texture because if it's black, you ca uh, possibly cannot see it properly. And also be aware that the entries here are matched to the material sets by index. So you need to observe that both the article PDA instance and the visual component use the same order. The most complicated case is when you use the visual component to provide your actor with a new mesh. At that point, one article PDA instance no longer suffices. You have to provide one for each mesh you enter in the visual component. Let me show you an example for that. This candle actor from the empty room example map of the Aquas extension can change its appearance between these two looks, i.e. meshes, each of which comes with several material sets, as you can see here in the visuals component, and each look we assign with its own PDA instance in the visuals component here and here. And in such a case, you also need to enter both article data assets in the corresponding subcategory of the catalog component. Like this, the component creates a catalog entry for each look of the actor, as you can see here for the candle actor. 
Since we are on the desktop pawn already, let's have a look at the catalog hut first. We only need to open the hut component on the same pawn and create an entry in this array under general, which determines the composition of the hut. Let's call the entry catalog. Under widgets, we enter the catalog hut widget and under frame, the catalog frame. That's it. Now we can use the catalog as hut element. Just one more thing. If the desktop pawn you are using is not the Arquist desktop pawn or a child thereof, the spawner of the catalog hut needs a bit of additional care. First of all, you need to add the comp spawn actor to the pawn and place it at the position where the actor should be spawned. Next, just copy this code from the corresponding Aquis pawn, mobile or desktop, depending on which environment you're and replace the references. Now we are ready to try our catalog hut. As you can see, the catalog hut widget is set in the catalog frame when I choose it in the hut menu and all overlapping frames are cleared. In this basic form, the catalog shows the list, a list of top categories. When we select one, the subcategories with their entries are shown using the texture from the article data asset. Upon selecting one entry, we get a details window showing more information from the data asset and the spawn button. And upon pressing that, an instance of the article is spawned. The setup of the catalog component and article data asset is the same no matter which user interface you choose. So for the catalog pal palette, you only need to add the catalog palette radial button to the array in the radial menu component. And now the catalog palette is spawned when you select the radial button in VR and it works quite similar to the catalog hat. The catalog board is simpler to set up. Just find the BP board catalog actor in the Aquas extensions content folder under blueprints, UI and boards and place it in your map. The actor itself has a catalog component. Add your categories and PDA instances there, as I showed you before on the pawn. And here you are. Now you should be familiar with the catalog feature of the Aquas extension as well as its display options. So I will sign off for now. See you soon. Bye bye.